What's up team, Justin Dewad, nutritionist here, here at CBG, we help you lose body fat, build muscle, crush your wads without tracking macros. Go ahead, like this video, comment on it, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want more free nutrition advice so you can finally start looking like you CrossFit. Today, the topic is about and for my friend Gregory Glassman. Now, this topic is gonna be extremely controversial, but I'm hoping by the end, you get a better understanding of what you need to be doing on the nutrition side and why everything literally almost everything that comes out of Gregory Glassman's mouth about nutrition is wrong and I hate to do this I hate talking trash about other people but when you get something wrong and you're smart enough to get it right this is the way that it goes and of course any rebuttals or anything that he may have I'm open to it Greg has started a new company called Metfix nothing can be contested about what Greg has done for CrossFit and the start of CrossFit it is a superior training methodology in my opinion to get people more involved in group fitness that incorporate strength, functionality, enough modalities for long-term health and improvement. Nothing contested there. Where I have an issue with Greg is when he talks about nutrition and how he's gonna help and fix metabolic disease, obesity, heart disease through his recommendations. Metfix is basically a company that Greg Glassman has started and it's an evolution of his methodology. Basically, they're sharpening CrossFit into a tool that can help cut through the epidemic of chronic disease that is killing millions and bankrupting nations. We're talking about a reconstruction of the fitness industry that doesn't just prepare people for the unknown and the unknowable, but actively fights and reverses the world's leading cause of death, diabetes, heart disease, obesity, and more. Love the mission statement. Love what he's doing. Totally makes sense. It is the number one killer in the United States today. Heart disease, obesity, all these things stem from eating too much and doing too much and not enough activity. So the mission statement here is clear and I completely agree. Bankrupting nations, killing millions, 100% true. Now, I would be remiss and he would be remiss if he didn't talk about nutrition when he talks about fixing metabolic disease. It's a huge component in why some of these things are occurring. What does Greg say about nutrition? I think we all know. He says you should eat meat, good. Eat vegetables, good. Eat nuts and seeds, good. Some fruit, wrong. Little starch, wrong. No sugar, very, very, very wrong. And that's where I'm gonna focus today's podcast on the no sugar. I wanna start by saying I'm not paid by the sugar industry. There's a lot of, let's just say people out there, conspiracy theorists, Savan, his posse, his friends, that believe that everything out there conspiracy theory wise is true. I am not paid by the sugar industry. Industry. I have a master's degree from Yale University in organic chemistry. I've been a scientist virtually my entire life and I work for my damn self. I don't work for anybody else. I'm not paid by anybody else, but the clients that we bring in and help improve their life. Let's start with this graph. This graph here shows that up until the year 2000, the increased re risk in obesity was directly correlated to an increase in sugar consumption. Now, you'll look at this graph and say, Justin, what the hell, man? Like you're proving Greg Glassman's point. Literally more sugar, more obesity. This is where I want to caution all of you because this is the trick that everyone plays on demonizing any food is association is not causation. I can show the same exact graph. X-axis show shark attacks and on the Y-axis, I'm gonna show eating ice cream. And you'll see as more ice cream is being eaten, there's more shark attacks. Now that's confusing, right? You're like, that makes no sense. Why would someone eating ice cream have the more likelihood of being attacked by a shark because it's summertime. It has nothing to do with the fact that someone's eating ice cream, that they're getting attacked by a shark. There is no causation just because there's correlation and association. And that's exactly what's happening when Greg says sugar is causing the obesity epidemic. And that's what that graph is showing. That's what's used to scare people. And that's exactly why you shouldn't trust him when it comes to nutrition information. So that's graph one. Point two, if you have a degree in nutritional science, it's pretty straightforward forward. Every single carbohydrate known to man, high fructose corn syrup, broccoli, candy, mashed potatoes, uncrustables, all of it gets metabolized by the body and broken down into glucose. Well, Justin, what is glucose? Glucose is a monosaturized sugar molecule, meaning it's one chemical structure, right? Six membered ring. It's sugar. Literally is sugar. That's what it is. Everything in the body that you eat that is a carbohydrate, which is a long chain of saturides, polysaturides, broken down into a monosaturide 
polysaccharide, sugar, glucose. In the case of fruit, it's fructose, which has a very similar mechanism in terms of breakdown, but it's metabolized preferably by the liver. Glucose, sugar, eventually becomes glycogen, which is stored in our muscle. And if you guys have been following me, you know this, carbohydrates stored in the form of glycogen are our number one uncontested primary priority for our bodies, burning source of energy and fuel for CrossFit workouts, period. It's undisputed. It's in the literature everywhere. It is the number one. That's it. Nothing else fuels us better for our CrossFit workouts than carbohydrates. Nothing. Now that we see this and we know glucose, everything gets broken down to it. What is the problem with having a Pop-Tart every now and then or sugar or fruit? What's the issue? If all of it gets broken down to sugar anyway, nothing. This is what's called the mechanism of action. The mechanism mechanism of action is how a specific molecule plays a role in the body and what happens in metabolic processes to get there. Greg doesn't know the metabolic pathway and the metabolic breakdown and metabolism to get down into glucose into sugar because everything gets there. Am I saying go eat a bunch of sugar? No. And I know some of you are going to say that. Justin says eat a bunch of sugar. No, that's not what I'm saying. I understand the benefits of more broccoli and the micronutrients in broccoli versus that of a pop tart. But the sugar, it's not the reason. I'm going to go over the the reason here in a minute as to why a pop tart inherently is worse quote for you than broccoli and i promise you it's not sugar point number three we're gonna go over calories as you guys guessed it those of you that's smart they've been following me through this podcast sugar does not cause fat gain fat gain is what causes the obesity epidemic diabetes heart disease sugar does not cause this calories cause this over consumption of calories there are several experiments out there and we've done this with our cbg clients in volume there are two Two different things that you can do to understand this better and it's all going to make sense in these studies what they do is they say eat clean whatever the hell that means eat clean all week and then incorporate cheat meals when you feel like it meaning eat whatever you want doesn't matter what it is the other people you incorporate meals and foods you like whenever you want to but you keep a cap on the total number of calories that you consume in a day right you could do this through portion sizes is what we do here at cbg you can do it tracking macros whatever you want to do doesn't matter what happened was people that incorporated cheat meals and restricted themselves ate 30% more junk food than people that incorporated when they wanted. Seems counterintuitive, right? But that's the way it works. When we restrict ourselves, we binge and we eat more of the trash that Greg Glassman says we shouldn't be eating. So when Greg Glassman says no sugar, what happens? We eat more sugar. That's what happens. We eat more sugar because we're restricting ourselves from limiting it and incorporating more of the right foods and being additive with our nutrition than focusing on instead eliminating it because Greg Glassman said so. But Greg Glassman has no idea what he's talking about. So this is point three. Sugar does not cause fat gain independent of calories. It's always been about calories. Again, I'm going to say this again. It's not go eat all the sugar you want. That's not what I'm saying. Eat more broccoli, eat more fruit, which he says to limit. Get the fiber and get the micronutrients in. They're going to keep you full longer. It's going to be better for you. Yes. But sugar itself as a molecule, glucose is not the reason the obesity epidemic Epidemic is occurring now. I'm going to go over why. Point number four. Actually, what I first want to do is I want to point to some research and I'll put the link here and in the show notes. This link actually proves the exact point that I've been saying this whole time, that it's based on calories and not isolated sugar. And this is a meta-analysis, right? It's a randomized control trial uh, and it's a cohort of studies collected and put together. It's the literal pinnacle of scientific research. And in this study, it goes over exactly and precisely why it's from calories and that sugar is not the culprit for obesity. You can look at this study all you want. It was published in 2013. It's literally the scientific consensus. You talk to any high level scientists in nutritional sciences, not these stupid gurus online that are trying to sell their carnivore or all that. Forget about that. Actual scientists, go to all the competitors, go to Lane Norton, go to RP Strength, go to actual scientists and ask them this. The scientific consensus is sugar does not cause obesity. More calories cause obesity. That's it. So now we need to make this other connection, right? Which is these higher calorie foods always have sugar in them, which can be true, which is why we should be limiting these highly processed foods because they have more calories. Point number four, I'm going to show you this graph. The graph that I showed you before was all the way up into the year 2000. This graph is from 2000 to now, right? Or close to now. You could see from this graph that over the last 20 years, we've decreased sugar intake and consumption. But guess what? The obesity continues to rise. It's literally on the effing graph. It's right here. So sugar is not the problem. More calories, are the problem. Not being additive with your nutrition is the problem. Adding in more of those lower calorie nutrient dense foods, that 
That is the problem, not sugar. It's not, I'm sorry, I literally just laid this out completely. It's not fruit. Fruit is low calorie. My athletes, name a single, any CBG athlete, any games athlete out there, they probably eat more sugar than most of us. It's a quick available energy source for them to fuel better for their workouts, especially in, in high pressure, high intense situations like competitions. They eat more than all of us. None of them are obese, none of them, not a single one. None of them are at risk for metabolic health issues, heart disease. They eat more sugar than all of us. There's nothing wrong with sugar, guys. So look, I hate people that are smart enough to know the truth and then still spit nonsense. I'm sure there's some clarifications Greg or anybody else that believes this crap can make. Please feel free. Comment below on this podcast. Shoot me a DM. I'll come on a podcast. I'll fucking destroy everybody. It doesn't matter. This stuff is not true. It's dangerous. We know sugar and higher calorie foods and processed foods. We've been knowing for 50 years that they're not, we, we should lower their consumption. We've been knowing it. The obesity continues to rise. That's it. So it has nothing to do with us not knowing. We understand. It's about getting support, help, accountability, whether it's from a friend, whether it's from a coach. It's changes of behavior that need to be incorporated. And it's not listening to nonsense of generalized messages that people make online that might be okay information for some, might not be good for you. I don't even have any more words for this because literally if you look at these graphs, it doesn't make any more sense for me to continue. Like everything is here. And if you want the meta analysis, go below there. I have a 500 more studies that I can show that shows fructose does not cause obesity. Sugar does not cause obesity. High fructose corn syrup does not cause obesity. Studies on Delovo lipogenesis shows that it doesn't necessarily uptick from the increase in fat, which is increase in, in fructose being metabolized by the liver. I can go through this stuff forever. This is what I do. And all in all, review this, look at the studies if you're really interested, ask questions. This one just got me passionate. Uh, I appreciate you guys. Justin, the wad nutritionist here at CBG Oil, but you lose body fat, build muscle, crush your wads without tracking macros. I look forward to hearing from anybody that wants to contest this and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace out.